How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fantasy Star. So, last episode, we finished up with all of our running around on Dezorus. And now, it is finally time, back in Gothic, for us to go out and wrap up one of the biggest loose ends from the game so far. So we've got Alice at level 24. We've got Mayu, level 23. We've got Odin, level 24. And we've got Noah, level 20. So, we are going now to finally wrap something up here. This isn't even worth fighting. Not that Odin couldn't just wipe them up. But ever since the beginning, deal with a couple of manticores here, we've been talking about Medusa and how Odin was hunting her. Well, it's about time we avenge Odin getting turned into stone. We are heading for Medusa's Tower, which is the first of the really big dungeons in the game. We are talking eight levels, seven levels in a basement. Now, we won't actually have to visit all of those, but we will need to, obviously, move forward. So let's see here. First stop, got a Sphinx in our way. There's level 21 for Noah right off the bat. Oh boy, a flash. Okay, now I gotta proceed with some caution here. Dang, I went too far. Okay, that makes this a little more uh, interesting. We are in the basement after all. So we're gonna have to work our way out of the basement. I gotta remember that. Use our dungeon key. Oh, my God. I don't know if I want to fight this. Being perfectly honest, this could potentially facilitate us needing to make a premature exit from this dungeon. But the potential mesetas and experience to be gained is too much to just pass up on. So we're going to take these on. And it looks like we'll be able to take them without taking too much damage. Just don't want to take too much damage early because when you get up to the top floors, some real nasty stuff starts showing up. Okay. That gets us back up to the first floor from the basement. Now then, let's try this again. One, two. Magic, Mayu, trap. Mayu spotted and disarmed the trap. There we go. That's what we needed. Level 24 for Mayu. No, I don't. I don't need Flash. And now we're up to the second floor. Now... From the second floor, we need to go this way. Take this turn. That takes us up to the third. Couple of stalkers. Level 
and down. I mean, and keep in mind, this is still just the third floor. We've got another four floors above this to go through. Now, admittedly, the fifth, sixth, and seventh floors are fairly small, but they have some of the toughest monsters we face to date. Some of them you'll recognize, like I believe Marauders are up there, if I remember right. And I'm, if I remember right, we'll actually fight monsters up there that can use the thunder magic. Flash is never needed. Go away. And here we go, Green Dragon. See, they're already starting to ramp up a little bit. There we go, Marauders. I told you they were here. As you know, these guys have some nasty abilities. It's best we kill these as fast as we can. Got him. Now, the big key for the Medusa fight is something we already have, which is the mirror shield that Odin is equipped with. The mirror shield, without the mirror shield, it's basically a race to defeat Medusa before she can turn your entire party to stone. With the mirror shield, she's actually a fairly easy boss. The dungeon run up to her will actually be a bigger challenge than Medusa herself. Fairly well so far, though. Especially with that two Titan battle. That worried me. Oh, please stop trying to give me Flash. Flash is never needed. Abandon it. Three Stalkers. Skeletons go back to being dead. I do love that this area has the cool dungeon music again, though. Flash is not needed. Ah, doing it again. I can't help myself. This dungeon, both dungeon musics, I always want to sing along to it. They're just so catchy. Oh boy. I forgot about these. We got Reapers. These are upgraded versions of the Marauders, and as you can see from how little damage we actually did there, these guys are dangerous. Mayu just attacked and only did one damage. He didn't use a special ability at all, thank god. Let's keep pushing through the fourth floor here. Slight detour here. Two red slimes, nothing to worry about on this one. That's a nice little break.
How brave, but be careful of traps. This is why I usually just take the path straight through the dungeon. As you can see, a majority of the quote-unquote hints that you can get through this game are worthless. And in fact, especially in this late game, most of the chests throughout this dungeon only give you the likes, ooh boy, Reaper, of 10 to 35 mesitas, some give you colas, some give you burgers, and indeed, some are just empty and trapped. So you take trap damage, and they're not even worth op having opened in the first place. So if any of you have wondered throughout the Let's Play why I don't bother kind of fully exploring the dungeon, it's because quite honestly, with a couple of chests exception, it is a waste of time. Yeah, you get a little extra experience, but these are such endurance runs, especially towards the end here as it is, that that little extra time doesn't... little extra experience just isn't worth it. It's better to plan your route, plow straight through in one go, get to the boss and kill it. One HP! Come on! A lot of locked doors in this. We are almost through the fifth floor. We are closing in to the top of the Baja Malay... Well, we're not to Baja Malay yet, but Medusa's Tower. Baja Malay is up next. And it is a nasty place. After this, we will head to the Baja Malay Prison and Baja Malay Tower. And Baja Malay Tower is ten levels. Which, as you can guess, is appropriately insane. We found a cola. Yes, I want to drop something. You know what I want to drop? One of these worthless flash. Wait a sec, that wasn't... Okay, laser shield. Ooh, that's... I thought for a second that was the Laconian shield. I'm like, how do I not have the Laconian shield already equipped? Here we go, level 7. And Medusa is right behind this door. So let's go ahead and heal up. We probably are already plenty strong for this, but... We'll top everybody off just to play it safe. Okay. Let's use the dungeon key. Save. And last but not least, let's just double check. Odin is the mirror shield equipped. So we're ready. Medusa, 200 HP. Let's go all out. Fire. Attack, attack. And wind, I think. Getting there. Just finish her off. And boom. Found Laconian Axe. Yes, I want to drop something. You know what I want to drop? A worthless flash. Well, it's been a fun run. But, Odin... Let's do this. Stats. Odin. Note his attack stat right now is 91. Item. Laconian Axe. Equip Odin. 
121. And we are not going to try to walk down. Let's use our flute. And make our way back to Gothic, where we will rest and wrap this one up. So Medusa is down. We now have the Laconian Axe, which is the most powerful weapon in the game. All four pieces of Laconian gear have been selected. All that is left is for us to raid by Amalei. And once Baha Malay is covered, or Baha Malay, once that is covered, it's time to hunt Lassic. So we are closing in on the grand finale of this series. God, we have so much money now. I'm tempted to go to, uh... Um, I am tempted to go off to Motaiva and buy the Land Rover just because I can, even though I don't need it at this point. But we're going to go ahead and save here and wrap this one up. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you please like, subscribe to the channel. Throw me any feedback you might have in the comments, and we'll see you next episode.